everyone. This is Tammy from the Unipearl Consulting Limited. I am here today to show you how to set up a shop in Lazada. So basically, Lazada is an online e-commerce platform across Southeast Asia. Yes, it is a first through cross-border e-commerce platform. Amazing, right? Anyway, it is the fastest growing e-commerce market in the world. And yes, thanks to Lazada, because companies worldwide can start selling products all across ASEAN nations from one platform. And what is amazing about this is that Lazada offers cash on delivery as a payment option when selling across borders. And what's good about this e-commerce platform is that they have plenty of room for new sellers. If you watch this video, you will see how easy it is to open a shop here compared to other e-commerce platforms. If you are looking to enter Asia's market and want to break in, well, for me, this e-commerce platform is the best place to be. Um, and then don't worry if you are not based in Southeast Asia. If you are based elsewhere like United States, United Kingdoms, that's fine. You can still open a shop here. And to know how, watch this tutorial. So let's get started. Here you can type um, Lazada Seller Center and choose Lazada Seller Center. Click on that and you will be directed to this page. So you are now in Lazada Seller Center and you can see that these countries are the countries that Lazada is available. So you can choose from here. Um, you would like to open your shop in Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, or Vietnam. I will choose Philippines since I'm here. So you can see the flag there. And since we don't have an account yet, we will click on become a seller. And you will be directed here. So there are three kinds of shop you can choose from. The most basic one is the local seller or if you are based locally. La local seller is offers to consumers the widest assortment of goods from local sellers with peace of mind shopping experience. So again, if you are based locally, you can choose this one. And if you don't have a business registration certificate or, or any business documents, um, it's better to choose this one. It's more on like independent seller. And it's 0% commission, meaning if you were able to sell your products, Lazada will not charge you with any commission. Unlike here in Last Mall Seller, it offers the consumer superior shopping experience with 100% of them easy promise, superior return and delivery experience. You can choose this one if you are a brand owner or authorized distributor. They need you to send them documents like business registration certificate or any other business requirements. This is also exclusive access to dedicated Lasmol campaigns. Benefit from higher overall search ranking, additional seller tools, and you have to pay for commission only when you sell. So if you were not able to sell anything, that's fine. They will not charge you with any commission. And the last one is the Last Global Seller. Last Global offers to consumers access to widest assortment from overseas sellers. So if you are based internationally, based in China, Korea, Japan, or in any other countries like United States, United Kingdom, this is the best option for you. Of course, you have to submit your registered business. So there are business requirements needed here. Make sure also to ship your products to the Lazada Overseas Sort Center. So later, I will show you the different places where you can choose the Overseas Sort Center. And then it also have an access to wide array of seller tools. And same with less small seller, you have to pay commission only when you sell. So when you sell something, you have to pay or the Lazada will charge you with the commission. So let's try registering under the last global seller. So sign up and you will be directed to this page. 
It says here that please prepare the following information in advance so that you can quickly enter and complete the review. So the first one is Enterprise Alipay with a balance of not less than 3,000 RMB for authentication and margin payment. So if you don't have an Alipay, um, that's okay because later on we will see other options. And mainland China mobile phone number used to accept SMS verification code when registering an account. So if you're not in China, that's okay. You can use your own mobile phone number because we need that. Lazada will send a verification code to the mobile number you enter or you register. So you have to prepare that as well. Make sure it's beside you. And then a business license photo, yes. Under the last global seller, a business registration certificate or business um, requirements is needed here. And make sure that it is consistent with other documents that you will be showing or uploading in Lazada. And the last one is the Payoneer account used for collection. If not already registered, please register first. So if you don't have a Payoneer account, that's okay because Lazada later will direct you to the Payoneer website to register. But if you already have, then you can bind that. So let's click on OK. And you will see that there is um, Chinese words here. That's okay because we can change that. So account type is corporate. It is automatic since we already we are registering under last global seller. And then where is your shop based in? And let's see the list. So there's a lot of countries here that you can choose from. And just choose which country your shop based in. So I will choose Taiwan. And now it will change to this. And mobile number. So make sure that your mobile number is correct because they will send you a verification code here. And then, so, so let's enter our mobile number here and slide to verify. And then you can choose your password. Make sure you have eight characters characters including one letter, one number, and one symbol. Okay, so enter your email address. Your shop name, it can be anything. Even if it is not in your business address, that's okay. This shop name is the name you want to appear in your Lazada shop. So I will choose a and then just click on I have read, understood, and agreed to the terms and conditions of the cross border market, please. And then before you sign up, make sure to enter the code that they sent you in your mobile number. So once you receive, you enter it here and and sign up. And it was a success. So here, um, there are three steps that you have to fill in before you can start selling. So you can see you have a zero completed and keep up the good work. So let's try to manage the address book first. So you have entered that your shop is in Taiwan. So now you have to enter the address Um, the one you use in your company uh, business registration. So let me enter here.
So I'm gonna use the same address and warehouse address. So the, your warehouse address is the place where you, the consumer will return the item. So I will use the same address as business address to my warehouse address. And then I will choose as Taiwan. So I will choose Taiwan as my warehouse address. And then the sortation center will be in Hong Kong. So basically, warehouse address is where the consumer will return the item or where you go into where your products are. So you have to clearly indicate what is your warehouse address. And then, like I said, when a consumer wants to return the item they bought in your shop, they will return it to this address. So I'm going to choose the same as warehouse address. So, um, so all the products that I have and all the return items will be shipped here. So let's submit. Now my address book has been verified. It's either I go back to the dashboard or I will upload the business document. So I will choose on uploading the business document. Click on here. So this time you have to enter your legal name or company name. So make sure that your company name and the one in your business registration certificate is the same. It should be consistent. So I will enter here Unicro Consulting Limited and my business registration number. And then they will ask you to upload your business certificate. And I use Hong Kong Business Registration Certificate here. You cannot skip this part. Business document, you cannot skip this part. So you have to submit this one before you can finish setting up a up, um, business document. So what is your main product category? So here you can see the list of category and I will choose services. And for the currency, I will choose the USD, the US dollars, and submit. So it's success again. Okay, now your enterprise information has been uploaded. Please continue to complete the remaining steps. So again, it's either you go to the back to the dashboard and check your dashboard or fill in the bank information. And now we are in our last step. Binding our payment. So there are six payment accounts for six countries that you have to bind. So let's bind the Philippine shop short code first. You don't have a Pay your pioneer account yet you have to sign up and fill on the necessary details and since I have an, already an account here so you can choose on already have a pioneer account and log in there you added a new funding source to your pioneer account you may now receive payments from Lazada Philippines to your USD balance uh, to view a full list of available funding source, log into your Payoneer account. So we have already binded um, the Payoneer account here in the Philippines. Okay, so now Vietnam doesn't have an Alipay. That's okay because we're going to use Payoneer here. So we're going to bind, bind the Vietnam. So you have to do the process again and again until you completely bind the six countries. So after binding the six countries, let's go back to fill in bank information to check the process. Okay, so now it's all binded. So the Philippines is binded, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam, and Indonesia. 
So we have already the six countries and let's submit. Okay, it's a success already. Yeah? Um, and let's submit again. Success. So let's go back to the dashboard on the upper left. Now here, we have already done setting up our Lazada shop. Again, I chose the Laz Global seller. Um, that's for the international shop. And then you just have to do the three steps before you can sign up for your shop. Now, you can start selling your products here. You can, you can see that there's a lot of countries, the six countries here. And um, store performance, business by venture, business summary. You can see all your orders, buyers, um, revenue. Everything is here. Now you can manage your products, manage global products or add global products, manage the venture products, everything is here and you can see your orders, you can manage orders and you can check it here if you have already orders. So since we didn't post anything yet, we cannot, we don't have anything yet here. First, you have to add global products. So what are you selling? You post it here. And let's try adding products here in our page. And let's start selling. And since we don't have any products yet, let's try uploading some products and start selling. So go to the products and you can see the manage global products, our global products. Let's go here. And you will be asked to upload the image that you want to sell. I'm gonna sell a button. So the product name is just colorful or rainbow pens. Then they will ask you to put what category you're selling is and I will put it here on the stationery and craft writing and correction pens. So if you have a video URL, you can add it here, but I don't have, so I'll skip that one. And then, if, you, if your pen has a brand, then you can put it here. If no brand, then just put no brand, and then click on more. Let's be specific on what kind of product are we selling. So it says here, pen thickness you can add or you don't want to add that's okay that's totally fine but I will add on this one so in my image it's a set if you can see so I'll be putting here number of pieces in six okay. so they can buy this ball pen this set of ball pens and model you can put the model or you want it's okay but it's better to fill up all the necessary details so that the buyers can search your product easily but I will upload you can also adjust the picture over here there you can see it so delivery warranty type there are different kinds of warranty you can choose the international seller warranty or you don't want to give a warranty or a local supplier warranty international manufacturer but I will choose on the international seller so this is with me. warranty period for one month because it's just a pen so this is so I cannot choose more than one month and warranty policy what do you want to put here you can put like um, money back and put proven fake or receive items with damage or the pen is not working there's no ink then you can put it here and I will put here receive items receive damage items so here and then 
you can dangerous food is your product with battery flammable liquid or not mine is non and then this one is also very important how heavy is your product is so it's just a pen 0 0.2 and dimension so you have to you have to measure your products as well because this will affect the shipping because sometimes when you put the wrong measurement sort, sorting hub will not accept the package like I said it will affect the shipping you can see here that domestic shipping fee so these are the amount of the shipping fee for this measurement so the shipping fee will depend on how heavy or how big is your products color family what color is the pants it's rainbow then you have to upload your product picture here but if it's the same as thumbnail then you can use that you have to add the SKU like I said it is very important the more the more SKU you have in your shop the more visible you are to the buyers so let's put five dollars for retail price and then um, for the sale price I will put three point five there. and you can click on the calculate so that it will be automatically filled on the boxes and apply to all and how many do you have how many stocks do you have let's say I have a hundred sets for of that then calculate it will be divided to these countries apply to all and then taxes default and then what's the SKU of your product and then we'll just type on 001 and of course you have to put details and description to your products and just type anything or describe what you're selling so I will just type here for the short description colorful pens or rainbow pens and then for the long one you can actually type in all the details it's better to um, indicate all the details here or all the description so that the buyer will be attracted in your products so what's in the box six pens and publish to these countries or if you don't like to sell it in Singapore you can X it or in the Indonesia like that so I will be selling it to all the countries auto translated to all the countries and submit you can add another product or you want to see how your product goes so now I have already one product here rainbow pens SKU and it's everything is here so you can edit or you can copy listing the activate active delete the product so yeah it's easy to upload your products and now let's go to promotions let's make a seller voucher promotion but first let's upload your logo now you have to upload your store logo this one is recommended image so just read the requirements here and then click on upload and you will see the content and create banners here and please upload images with mobile languages since we are going to open a shop internationally then you can upload different languages here so that the buyers from other countries can understand your shop more but I will only upload English there you can see and you can crop as well so now it's been uploaded let's confirm and it will be also in this countries let's 
confirm. And then for the shop name, I'm not gonna change it anymore. But you can, I think you can still delete these numbers. And then for the URL, you can generate your code here, and it is more easier for the buyers to search your product. So you can post them to your social media account or other website, or if you have any other website, you can post it there. For the store follower voucher, it's not yet set, we can set that. This voucher is for your follower voucher that can help you get more followers and traffic to your store. Example, you want to get more followers, then give them 15% discount. Once they follow you, then they can avail the 15% discount. And in this situation, you will get more followers. And then you can also set your store share voucher. So when the people share your website to their friends or to anyone, and they can also get a rewards like 15% discount or any other discount and then we can also set this details page this product details page banner brings more traffic to your store and guide customers to browse more products in your store so let's first um, set up your follower voucher okay you can see here that welcome to your voucher page you can view all the vouchers you have issued here and then the collect start time redeem end time you can set this up by the time you want to start and redeem end time meaning when do you want to end the voucher and next is the discount apply to so enter store discount apply to all SKUs um, specific for a specific products discount apply to all specific products so if you don't want to if you don't want the followers or the buyers to have the voucher for all the products to have the discount for all the products then you can either choose um, discount applied to all SPUs or specific product only you can also do that and then for the display area this is a type of buyers where your vouchers will be displayed too and there are four types of display area the first one is the regular channel which is to all your buyers and then the other one is for the store followers um, to buyers that follow your store only or the third one is the offline vouchers to specific buyers whom you send the link to privately to chat so you can maybe use this one to um to your social media account like you can send them if they ask you some inquiries you can send them this i think this is a special voucher and the live stream to buyers to collect during your live stream yes you can also do live stream selling and then the status so you can see the status here ongoing the voucher is active suspended voucher has been deactivated um, mostly Lazada will be the one to suspend if a if they think there is something wrong and then expired which is vouchers redeemable period has already passed and had started so countdown to the day vouchers can be collected so here in Southeast Asia or actually here in the Philippines we we um, mostly have the monthly sales like the 6.6 7.7 which which is the June 7 or August 8 8.8 .8, like that so um, if you're planning to have a sale on those periods like the next month you can set up the that voucher and here you can see the actions you can perform on a voucher so you can edit, view, deactivate or activate, manage products, share a link. So there's a lot. All the tools are completely in this page. So now you can check vouchers performance at the dashboard, voucher dashboard. So it is important to frequently assess each of your vouchers performance to discover ways to improve your voucher settings. So if this voucher is not um, effective then you can change it or if this is effective then next time you can do it again and the show voucher in the store is here um, you have to click here to include your vouchers in your store page so uh, in your store builder you can include the voucher module under the promotion group at your store page to increase the visibility visibility of your vouchers yeah sometimes some vouchers really don't or not too visible to the followers or the buyers so you can adjust it here and yeah 
So create new voucher is here. Just click on this one and then you're done. Just click on this one and then you can create your voucher. So let's try creating your voucher. Okay. Yes, yeah, set a clear, easy to remember voucher name here. I will put on here 7.7 .7 sale 10%. So 7.7 .7 is July 7th, which is next month. And then this one is the period that con customers can use the voucher. So when do you want them to use the voucher? So they can use the voucher from starting on 7 up to July 7 up to let's say let's run the voucher for 3 days. So there. So that's the time that the customers can use the voucher starting on my 7.7 .7 sale. And they can start collecting the voucher tomorrow. And here, how many vouchers you want to issue. So, I will be offering 50 vouchers to the customers. And I will limit one customer of one voucher. You can actually change this to two or one. Uh, one customer can ten, get 10 vouchers but I think one is enough so this here display area where do you want the voucher to be seen you can choose the regular channel store follower offline or live stream um, I will choose on 50 vouchers for regular channel so even if you are non follower or you don't see this offline or live stream or nobody share this or you didn't share this voucher you can still see this voucher because it's on a regular channel you can, you can see it on the page how would you like to set your voucher discount so you can manually set by yourself or set by smart voucher advisor so I prefer set it up by the smart voucher advisor so here what discount type is your voucher I put here 10% so I will put percentage discount off and if you want it like money value off you can have like five dollar discount or ten dollars discount but I prefer percentage off. discount details um, example if order value reaches a uh, hundred hundred they can they can avail the discount and discount would be 10% off so there's a minimum amount spend to avail the discount and the maximum discount per order will be uh, 500 okay so there you can apply this discount to your entire shop which means all the products will have this discount or to your specific products only and I would like to use it for the entire shop and submit. You check your voucher in the voucher section anytime. Now we are done setting up your Lazada cross border shop as long as you have your business registered and have all the necessary business documents then you can open your shop in Lazada in just simple steps. However, if you haven't registered your company yet and are interested in doing so, just message us and we will be very happy to assist you. It's a plus also if you have your own trademark. It's not only that no one will copy you, but also for your security as well. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy this video.